Have you ever found yourself lost in time, wondering what hour of the day it is? With the advancement of clocks, I guess not, but this was not always the case back then, where sundials are the OGs and the candle clocks light up our lives. Join us as we explore the history and hilarity of these ancient timekeepers. Who needs a fancy digital watch when you can tell time with a stick in the ground or a candle that burns down to nothing? Let's start with sundials. Yes, sundials may be old-fashioned, but they're still a reliable way to tell time using the sun's position in the sky. And let's be real, who doesn't want to feel like a wise ancient philosopher while checking the time? Plus, let's face it, while smartphones are more convenient, they can't give you that warm, fuzzy feeling of connecting with the sun and the earth like a good old-fashioned sundial. But do you know what smartphones are good for? Smashing the like button on this video. Of course, reading a sundial can be a bit tricky at first. You have to account for the angle of the sun, the season, and your own location on the planet. But hey, at least you won't have to worry about the battery life or software updates. And for those fashion-forward individuals out there, have you ever considered wearing a sundial as a stylish accessory? It's a good conversation starter. Of course, there are a few downsides to sundials. They're not exactly useful at night, and they're not great for those who live in a cloudy or rainy areas. But hey, nothing beats the satisfaction of knowing that you're keeping time the way our ancient ancestors did. Now that we've seen how to tell time using the power of the sun, let's dive into the next watery world of timekeeping with water clocks. Imagine this. You're a thirsty ancient Egyptian, and you're wandering through the desert trying to find a water source or an oasis or something, when you come across a water clock. Now, at first you might think this is just a fancy drinking fountain, but no, it's actually a way to tell time. And here's how it works. The water clock has two containers, one on top and one on the bottom. The top container has a small hole in it, so the water can slowly drip into the bottom container. As the water drips down, it traces a float or a marker, which indicates the passage of time. The thing is, the water clocks only work if the containers are exactly the right size and shape. And also, the hole in the top container has to be exactly the right size. If any of those things are off, the water clock won't keep time very well. But, assuming everything is working correctly, the water clock can be a pretty good time measure. It was used in ancient civilizations like Egypt and China, and was especially useful for keeping track of the hours at night, when the sundials weren't very helpful. Of course, the downside of a water clock is that you need a constant supply of water. So, if you're in a desert, you might just want to stick to your good old-fashioned sundials instead. But enough about water clocks. Let's shed some light on the next timekeeper, the candle clock. A candle clock is basically a candle with markings on it to indicate the passage of time. The candle is divided into segments, with each segment representing a certain amount of time, usually an hour. As the candle burns down, the wax melts away, revealing the markings and indicating the passage of time. The thing is... Candle clocks aren't super accurate. That's because different candles burn at different rates depending on factors like the type of wax and the thickness of the wick. So if you're really trying to keep track of time, you'll want to make sure that you're using a candle that's been tested and calibrated to work as a clock. Still, candle clocks were pretty popular in medieval Europe, especially in monasteries and other religious communities where precise timekeeping wasn't always necessary. Plus, they're kind of fun. Who doesn't love the idea of using a candle as a clock? Just don't forget to blow it out before you go to bed. Candle clocks may burn bright, but let's not forget the timeless appeal of our glasses. They are sensational. Our glasses are like the OG of timekeeping devices. They have been around since ancient times and they are still popular today. So what's the deal with these sand-filled glass bulbs, you might ask? Well, let me tell you. Our glasses work on a pretty simple principle that we've all learned about in school. Gravity. You see, when you flip an hourglass over, the sand in the top bulb starts to fall through the narrow opening in the middle and into the bottom bulb. As the sand falls, it slowly fills up the bottom bulb until all the sand has passed through and the hourglass is empty. The thing is, our glasses are pretty accurate. As long as the bulbs are the same size, and the sand is the same consistency and amount each time, an hourglass will keep time pretty reliably. Plus, they are pretty to look at, with the sand flowing gracefully from one bulb to another. In fact, our glasses are so fun to play with that they have become popular in modern day games and reality TV shows and competitions. And there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this journey through time, literally, and maybe even learned a thing or two about these ancient timekeeping devices. 
Remember to like the video and subscribe. See you later.